Yes, I love you, Carly, and no, I'm never going to leave you. Jack. I want you to keep the money. It doesn't mean anything to me. It doesn't really. And you've proven that. But I think I have to prove something to you now. Carly, I, I don't want you making any more sacrifices to me, and I certainly don't want you paying scalper prices for hockey tickets. Look, use the reward money to start that new clothing line and, and to kick off this fashion show. What if... No, no, you're not going to fail. You understand? Because you're going to use the money responsibly. You really think I can do that? Yes. You already have. By putting some aside for Parker. And I'm so proud of you. And I know that whatever you put your mind to, you're going to be successful. You have that much faith in me. I wish I had that much faith in me. <laughs> you know, I have an idea. I know what I'm going to do with my very first fashion show. Yeah. I'm going to donate all the proceeds to a worthy cause. That's a sensational idea. Yeah. I'll call it a, a benefit. With all the money going to the police athletic. Time is it? Too late to catch our plane, that's for sure. Where are we anyway? Kind of desolate, isn't it? Kind of. You know, at least there's nothing around here to spend money on. Yeah, well, this limo had to cost a few bucks. I paid for it up front, you know. Really? Yeah, the whole night. Well, then why don't we get some use out of it? What are you doing? Jack, what are you doing? Well, it ain't Park Avenue, but it's a perfect place to park. It's a beautiful night, isn't it? It's not too cold. Moonlight. Million stars overhead. And there's not a soul around except you and me. Yeah, I'm the driver. Fast asleep. Gonna hold me down. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. <laughs> so, shall we? 